Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lords. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how you can find secrets and glitches and all that kind of stuff from underneath the map in Fortnite Battle Royale. This is actually using the replay editor mode and it's actually pretty interesting just to kind of go underneath the map, see if there's any kind of secrets or hidden things around the map that you haven't seen on the actual thing itself. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you that in today's video on how to get underneath the map and check out a lot of things that are under there. Uh, before we actually get into the video guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also if you haven't already, go and subscribe to my channel for more glitches, guides, videos and especially giveaways and leaks of early game content. Uh, and before we do actually get in, I want to say thank you very much for the recent support on the channel guys, you are all awesome. Uh, but anyway, as you can see right here, I'm actually in the replay editor and I've actually just got into the battle bush right now. As you can see, I'm spectating my guy and uh, yeah, we're going to be going and finding how exactly to get underneath the map. I actually tried doing this a long time ago. Well, actually, I say a long time ago. I tried doing it the first day of going around the whole outskirts of the map and trying to see if there was any gaps in the water to actually get underneath and check if there's any kind of secrets and everything like that. But unfortunately for me, there was none and uh, I kind of looked out. And if you haven't already saw it, I actually did a video the other day about a secret Easter egg or something uh, underneath uh, Tilted Towers, about somebody actually took a screenshot of them underneath the map and uh, I thought that was very, very interesting. So in today's video, I thought after I show you guys how to get underneath the map, we're gonna go and check out uh, Tilted Towers and a couple of places underneath the map and see if there's any goodies underneath there. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Now as you can see, I've just landed down right there, I've just got my uh, shotgun ammunition, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to be skipping this video to a part where I actually get near a big hill. And this is kind of what you need to do, so you need to kind of spectate your guy in third person, and as you can see, I've just got to this hill right here, and if I just go into drone follow mode, you will see that my camera kind of glitches underneath the map. As you can see, I'm underneath the map right here, and unfortunately for me, this area right here does not work, but that's kind of the gist of what you need to do. You need to get your character somewhere where his back is turned underneath the map or kind of, you know, on a big hill or a big rock or something like that, because that is pretty much how we're going to do this. But I was trying to find a good spot for this for ages on this gameplay, and uh, I actually found a really good spot. So what I'm going to do is keep on skipping ahead right now, and eventually we will get to a spot where I was killing a couple of guys over at, I believe, yeah, this place, round about here. So I'm just going to go into the gameplay mode. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. And um, it was round about here. I killed this guy, knocked him down and everything like that. And uh, just as I got caught up here, I got I got pretty much double teamed by these guys. And um, it's somewhere around about here. There oh, okay, wait there a second, maybe a bit too fast there. I'm going to go back a little bit more, okay. Right, you've got to get that sweet spot too, guys. It's a little bit difficult to actually get it where, you know, it's uh, it's actually going to be able to let you go underneath the map. So it's somewhere around about now. So I'm going to slow it down really, really slowly. And it's just as I jump and turn my camera uh, right there, I believe it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into third person mode. Unfortunately, it didn't do it. Let's go into drone attach. And there you go. I've actually just went into the map. So I'm going to do this really quickly again. Let me go into uh, gameplay. So if we switch over to drone follow. You can actually see that I my camera is underneath the map right now. And what you're going to do is you're going to just very quickly or very slowly just tap Q to kind of go underneath and then kind of go backwards. And as you can see, I am now inside the mountain and I'm still drone following my actual character itself. And what I'm going to do from this point of view is I'm going to go to drone and go to drone free. And if you just kind of see, now we're actually able to be underneath the map. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so it's a little bit better. And uh, we're actually underneath the map right now. And uh, yeah, as you can see, completely underneath the map. Pretty, pretty darn awesome to be honest. Like, as you can see, I can see uh, these characters right here. And uh, this looks pretty interesting, to be honest. I'm, I'm actually really happy about this. This looks really, really cool. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm happy the way it is. So what we're actually going to do is I haven't yet actually went underneath Tilted Towers. But like I said, I made a video the other day about, an, um, about somebody taking a picture underneath the map of a Easter egg from the Comet. And uh, I kind of want to go and see if that's a true thing right now. So... It is somewhere down these ways. There it is. Okay. Okay. So it should be somewhere around about here. If 
the video or you know if the guy was telling the truth and if everyone in the comment section who was saying it was true said it was actually true i don't know i'm, I'm kind of blanking out here because i'm trying to find it it is kind of small i guess let's go over here okay um it's not there oh okay so i so now I feel like a bit of an idiot because it's not actually here. This is actually, yeah, I'm actually at the point where the guy said that he found it and I cannot see it at all because he took a picture of it somewhere here. Somewhere here, I, I believe. Yeah, it was literally right here somewhere he said that it was. Okay, so I feel like a bit of an idiot because I actually made a video on that the other day. But I guess at the time, you know, a lot of people were saying it was true. And I actually feel like kind of a bit annoyed about that right now, but still, you know, we didn't actually exactly know. It was the first time like the, the, the editor was actually out and uh, yeah, now I feel like a little bit of an idiot. But what I'm actually going to do really quickly is I'm going to go back to my attack, uh, my guy right there. I'm going to go to drone, uh, let's see, drone free, go down, there you go. And uh, I guess we can just kind of check outside the map right now. And see exactly what's around here. I mean, I don't expect there to be much, to be honest. But I do remember that there was a couple of places down these ways. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. There's actually a... There's actually... What? There's actually a... How is that glitch underneath the map? How has that done that? That's so weird. Okay, so there's actually a cure package underneath the map. I wonder if there's anything else that goes underneath the map. Like, is that just kind of glitched underneath the map? Or is that kind of like after airdrops come in, they spawn in a sp certain spot or something, you know? Uh, so I remember back in the day, there used to be a glitch to get under the map somewhere about here. And people used to use it to actually kill people and everything. So that was kind of, that was a kind of douchey thing to do. But, you know, they did it. It was the way it is. It's whatever. Um, so, first off. We see that that is actually like a real thing. Like care packages go underneath the map. I wonder, I, like, I would love to actually get killed by someone underneath the map and actually use the replay editor tool to get them like banned or whatever, you know? Like just to kind of show epic. Yeah, these guys have like got underneath here and everything like that. Um, honestly, it doesn't seem like there's much underneath the map. But like that care package shows us, you know, like we can always hopefully find stuff underneath the map in future, you know? Um, I'm, I know I'm skipping through it really quickly, but I'm pretty sure that if you go certain places underneath the map, you will most likely find some things every now and then. I mean, there's been tons of games in the past where if you get underneath the map, you can see a lot of secret stuff. Like, for example, Destiny, Destiny 2. Like, if you get underneath the map, you can actually see, like, places that are going to be added in via DLC or via DLC and everything. So that's kind of interesting to do, I guess. Uh, so you never know. Like, maybe this little area right here, this kind of... This kind of thing. If Tilted Towers is destroyed, maybe this is going to be what it'll look like in the future. Because I don't remember Tilted Towers looking like this. I mean, that especially is glitched right there. That's not how it's going to look. But maybe this gives us an insight into if Tilted Towers does get destroyed, this is kind of what it's going to be looking like. Um, I, again, I'm just kind of looking for that Easter egg because I don't want to call that guy a liar and then it actually be here, you know? Or maybe it'll actually spawn here at a certain time in the day or something, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much been it for today's video. I do hope that this kind of helped you out. I'm sorry that it was a little bit of a long guide, but that is pretty much how to get underneath the map on Fortnite Battle Royale. I do hope that you kind of enjoyed that. I'm pretty sure that this dude sneaks up on me later on in the actual game. Uh, but it, what, what is it? I was actually going to do a guide on how to make really cinematic screenshots. So, for example, like, let's see, for example, this guy right here, right? So, I've got this guy right here. And if I just kind of slow it down really quickly, I know for a fact like a lot of people already don't know how to use the actual tool itself. Uh, so as you can see, the background is not blurred and most people don't actually know this, but yeah, you actually have to have like this as the lowest setting to get the most like blur, blur background. And uh, let's say for example there, autofocus is on, high quality effects, damage effects. There you go. So, for example, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's not the best, obviously, but I know how to actually make really good thumbnails and everything. And if you, that's something that you guys want to see in the future, uh, feel free to, like, leave a comment down below and be like, yo, Star-Lord, can you help us with, like, yeah, you know, the thumbnails and everything? I would actually be uh, very interested in who wants to actually see a guide on how to make really 
nice looking effective thumbnails just like I do when I do my cinematic ones. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, please do not forget to leave a like. Enjoy exploring underneath the map and uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!